alarms on these blankety blank DIY motion sensors. Look, been in the security business 20 years. I want to help you know how to install a motion sensor for your DIY security system. Doesn't matter if it's Qualsys, doesn't matter if it's Enologix, doesn't matter if it's Honeywell, you name any manufacturer and I want to help you install your motion sensor. And a lot of people have problems with these. Now look, having been in the business 20 years, I want to tell you what happened to me last October. I took my family on vacation to, uh, to Dollywood in Tennessee. And we were sitting down that night with the mother-in-law, the father-in-law, the kids were in the pool, they had a heated pool indoor, and I got a call from the Central Monitoring Station. Now mind you, I've been in the business 20, almost 20 years, 19 years, oh God, I've been 20 years in June, so almost 20 years. And when I got the call, I'm like, I knew it wasn't a false alarm because I installed my own system, right? And I just installed it about maybe six months prior to that. So I said, no, dispatch, because if that's an alarm going off at my house, because I'm an installer, <laughs> You know, it can't be a false alarm, but it was a false alarm, and I'm going to tell you why. I didn't make a cardinal mistake. It hasn't happened since, and I didn't even move it. I made the decision to leave the motion sensor where it was. Occasionally, you will get false alarms from motion sensors. Now, if you get it on a regular basis, there is a problem, but I'm going to tell you a few things to avoid when you install these little boogers that will help you out. One is never, ever install them where ceiling fans and air can move around quickly or near vents in the ceiling or vents in the wall where hot and cold air turn on and off because nobody really realizes these do not see motion. What these see is infrared. They see heat and cool changes in, in thermal dynamics of the house and air. Our bodies when they come in and they're heated, that's what they actually see. It's not motion. So if you put this near a vent or near an air conditioner outlet or near a ceiling fan, it's going to call, it, it has the potential to cause false alarms. What are the other things that can cause temperature changes? Well, don't put them directly at windows or directly at places where the sun shines in brightly on a wall because clouds go away, sun comes in, heats up a wall quickly, heats up a window quickly. You're going to have quick changes in heat and cool and you're going to have potential motions, motion sensor false alarm. Now, there's something that you need to look at. I'm not going to cover this topic. Pets are often a problem. Go look at our other video. It will tell you how to create a pet alley for a motion sensor. But I just told you a couple of very simple ways to stop having false alarms on your motion sensors. I highly recommend that you like and subscribe because we have about 300 videos now explaining how to do different things on your security system. Like and subscribe, securityallstar.com. Thanks for checking us out.